guys, Sarah here from Southpaw Planning. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you decided to click on my little thumbnail and give my video a watch. So in today's video, I am going over all of my planners from 2022. Um, there has been, like I started off in a wonderland and I ended in astrology with some rings and I will go through all of uh, the process, like, not the process, but we'll go through like what changed, I guess. Um, so we'll start with the Wonderland. This is a cover and it holds both the Wonderland 222 notebook and the, is it a journal? I already forgot. It's the notebook. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word, the notebook. So I have the planner here and the notebook here. Now before this, I was in Astology and I used it in the same way that I use it now. Um, and so last year I decided I needed something a little more that I could plan ahead in because that's the thing about um, being in a notebook is you there aren't any ways to really plan ahead. So I needed something where I could write down um, not just write, that I had a calendar that I could future plan in. And that was what was so helpful with this. And I also had the, the habit tracker. That was super helpful in uh, like completing my goals, getting on track with goals and stuff like that. So this is kind of how I set it up. I have my 2022 little, you know, walking through the the woods. I have my birthdays here. I didn't do anything with this and I didn't do anything with this. Uh, I didn't quite do very much with this. And then here's the habit tracker and I want to say I started off pretty strong on filling it out. But I would say about May, June, July, kind of just, I gave up on it. I was looking for something more to where I could actually write in the squares, not just something that I check off, that I wanted to actually keep some info, information within the squares. So um, I switched over to a different habit tracker. So here we started off with November and yeah, so I just here are a couple of the spreads that I did and I started, I want to say I didn't really use this too much. Oh, this is really nice. I like this spread. These are pretty. I didn't use the weeks too much because I had my, um, my Wonderland notebook. That's where I do a lot of and you can see I didn't even I didn't even use that one. Um, so here <coughs> I don't know why I'm coughing so much. So you can see here I didn't really do use it a lot, and I tried keeping track of mm, excuse me the weather. But here you know I do use the um, months a lot. So, and you can see, I tried to, and I found different ways to try and use this, and I would, and I would go for it, and I would use it, and then I would fall off of it, and then this was another page here that I didn't quite um, get to, I guess, figure out how to use. I don't know. I think. As much as I didn't want prompts in my book, I think having the prompts in the book was helpful. So here's a couple of the spreads that I really liked. I really enjoyed this spread. This one is by Mandy Lynn Plans. And this one, of course, as everybody knows, super popular, Sterling Ink. And then a lot of these I just put together with odds and ends. Um, this is some stickers from Planner Chick Designs. Oh, so I didn't even use January there. And then another thing, I didn't quite know what to do with the review. 
So April, I didn't even fill it out. But of course I use the months. And again, a lot of these, I don't, I don't know what it was about the weeks. So I didn't do that. Sometimes, sometimes I did, yeah, I didn't even fill this out. This is a kit by um, Planner Chick Designs. These are stickers from Mama Gloria. These are Erin Condren stickers. This is Mandy Lynn Plans. These are Planner Chick Designs. Oh, so here I tried to really get into using it. And then I didn't do, oh, I know why. Cause I think we went to, yeah, we went to California. So we were on summer break, so nothing was going on there. These are just stickers I put together. And these are <coughs> some stickers that I got from Amazon. These are Planner Chick Design stickers. Didn't use that. Didn't, I set it up, but I didn't use it. Same thing with July. And you'll start to see in July, I just totally, oh, what was that? What was that in the back? I didn't even use the notes pages. Oh, I think, I don't know what I did that for. Oh, school information, okay. So I didn't use the notes pages in the back and that was it. And then, so I do my days, my dailies in the notebook. So I started off with a different pay, uh, different kind of setup. The only thing I didn't do use is, I didn't set this up here. I mean, I set it up, but I didn't use it. So January, and it's funny is that I didn't use this and I didn't really use any of this either. It's weird. Cause now I use the heck out of that. Well, sometimes I do. But as you see here, these are, um, I use the heck out of my daily pages. This is like where I mostly live in, is the daily pages. And so I have, this is uh, Mandy Lynn Plans. These are just some random stickers from like Erin Condren, some washi tape off of uh, Amazon. Um, here is February. Um, this was some vellum I offered in my shop and I, you would it wasn't eight by 11, so then I used the extras and I stuck along the sides. Oh, this is a Mandy Lynn plant. These are all, it's a kit from her monthly subscription. And I really love how the blue worked with the, all the stickers and stuff like that. Valentine's Day, this was some vellum I offered in my shop. Um, so I did use the memories here, didn't quite do that. Um, Everything's all sticky. I wonder why, it, like there's just random stickiness. Some washi tape from Amazon. This is some vellum I offered in my shop. Goals, didn't even do goals. Vellum I offered in my shop. Didn't use do any of this. So as you guys can see, I really use the heck out of my dailies. Um, vellum I use in my shop, a sticker in my shop. Let's see here. Oh, this is one of my favorite weeks. This is um, from Sterling Inc. This is some vellum that she offered. I don't know if she still offers it, but these are stickers and vellum that I cut down. And the stickers, I think they were the coordinating stickers that went along with the vellum. So I tried to use the most of the vellum because they, you know, all our vellum, vellum comes in the eight by 11. So I would use the rest of it um, on the sides. Uh, this is a kit from Mandy Lynn Plans. Oh, let's move on. So you can see that's pretty much I use everything, it's pretty much the same. Every day. And I plan, hold on honey. Sorry about that you guys, my daughter's home 
for her winter break and she wanted to talk to me about something. So, as you can see, it's I, I plan out my days. Each day has its own spread. I don't like to like bombard it with too many stickers, but I do like to use some decorative elements like this is sterling ink. I really like to have that vellum right here between my week and my next week. Just kind of a nice little break up of it. Uh, I do also like to use a lot of the washi on the side and yes, you get that that bulge of washi here on the side. Um, it gets bothersome, but it's not too bad. And I went all the way until August in this book. Um, this was another, this was another week I liked. This is just some random washi that I got off of Amazon and I didn't as you can see, I didn't use a lot of tape, or not tape, but stickers and stuff. But just the vellum itself is pretty, um, I believe I have that in my shop. I'm not sure if it's still there though. So then I moved in to my Stology here, but I also still needed future planning. So I had some leftover Erin Condren monthlies. Was it monthlies? I had some leftover Erin Condren and I used this to do any pre-planning or anything. <clears throat> and you can see I didn't do a lot of decorating in the very beginning. Just kind of trying to figure out how I wanted to use it in a way that would be, you know, pleasing. So then I started using my vellums here and then I taped down right here um, just some prompts, things that I could just remember. I love having little quotes down at the bottom. And then here I used um, just some leftover washi and stuff from Mandy Lynn Plans and some stickers and stuff like that. And you can start to see I uh, did some white out of the, of the flowers that are on the top. Um, and then this was the habit tracker that I created. This is the reason why I wanted, I wanted to be able to track my steps in this type of way. I didn't want to just know if I hit 10,000 steps or if I didn't hit 10,000 steps. Um, I wanted to know what I actually got in my steps because there were some days that I was hitting 12 and there were some days that I hit, um, I think like 20,000 steps. Um, and then when I started doing my workouts, I wanted to also be able to track, where are the rest of mine? They must be in the back. Whether I ran and I worked out or if I did yoga, like here I worked out and I ran. So I just wanted to be able to track it in a way that, um, that gave me a little more information than the, than the habit tracker that I had before. So here's October, November, and then in each one I do have the little vellums that I offer, had offered in my shop. I'm not sure if I still have October in there. Probably took it off. Here's November, and then Lastly, here is December, and I don't know how I ripped the vellum here, but I did. And I didn't do um, a yearly over, a uh, monthly overview on this one. And then these are all of my habit trackers that I used, um, and I might just stick them in between. And then this is the months that I will be using. And I've, kind of, I've already kind of gone over it, but these are the months that I have in my new 2023 uh, ring planner. So that is what I used for my rings, or, for my, or not for my rings, but my future planning. And then this was my daily. 
So I just did a quick little title page on Canva just to know because I can never, I see all kinds of cute little stickers for like 2022, 2023, or, you know, big old vinyl stickers. But I ne whenever I go to look for them, I can't seem to find them for some reason. So here I have my title page. And I kept it really, really simple in this setup because it's just a continuation of the year that um, I had you know, with my Wonderland. So here's August. This was some vellum that I offered in August with the matching coordinating whatever um, calendar. And then I tried to keep that theme of flower throughout um, with the Aaron Condren stickers in the black and the white. Um, I also, this is also like a memory keeper for me. So I do like to have like little tippins like this of of like places that we go or things that we do. These are some Mandy Lynn plan uh, washi and stickers and stuff like that. Here, I tried to um, watercolor and that was did not come out as great and, as I had hoped. A lot of bleed through and if I messed up, I had to leave it. I could not white out like here. I could not white anything out and um yeah it just was horrible like here i messed up i ma messed up completely on making the spread usually my saturdays and sundays look like this and for some reason i had, was drawing in my um time bar here on the side and yeah so i totally screwed that up <laughs> so here's september I love how this vellum came out. It's so pretty. And I love the month of September. This was some old, not old. This is some Mandy Lynn Plan um, washi. And I don't think, I think I already used up all the stickers for the, the kit. And I was trying to use up other stickers that I had. Um, ordered from, these are all from Planner Chick Designs. I've kind of gotten away from using those types of stickers. I like to use, this is another vellum from my shop. This is washi that I got out of Amazon. Just trying to figure out how to use this type of washi, I guess. And this is also washi uh, from Amazon. But I like to, this is, um, vellum that I created to match the Erin Condren stickers. I didn't even do that. To match the Erin Condren stickers here. But I like more of the decorative stickers versus the, um, I don't remember. Oh, I think I was trying to do like a re weekly ref reflection that did not happen at all. <laughs> um, I like to do more of the decorative stickers versus the stickers that are like this. I've kind of gotten away from them a little bit. Um, I purged a lot of my stickers um, so that they're not uh, so I don't have them too much anymore. I don't mind these types of stickers because I consider them more as decorative as the other ones. I don't know why. I have this random page right there. Um, and then I started using my goals page here. Um, yeah, I like these types of more decorative stickers versus the actual like put my clothes away kind of stickers or workout kind of stickers. This was some acetate that I had made. Um, it was in my shop. It was for, I think it was for November. Love how it came out, so pretty. Didn't use that at all. Skip to a favorite. So I really, these stickers are from Brianna and Nicole Designs, I think. Um, and these sticker, these washi tapes are from Planner Envy. Really love how her, um, 
her washi is. And these are also, that came with, I think it came with them. There was like four of them in like a stack. It was three or four. Um, but they all just looked really good together. And then these are from Planner Chick Designs, these Halloween countdowns. These I think are from Brianna Nicole Designs. Um, this was some washi I created for Halloween. Not washi, vellum. I really like how um, all the little stickers came out. Oh gosh, I have no idea where this washi came from. I've had this stuff for so long. Uh, here I tried to use a little more of those types of stickers. Here is November. Uh, washi, not washi, I keep saying washi. Vellum that I had in my shop. I'm not sure if it's still there or not, but this, I love how this week turned out. I love, um, this is some stickers here. These are from, um, Planner Chick Designs. It was like a whole little, okay, so these are different. <laughs> and then these are from, um, Planner Chick Designs. I created this just so that um, I have a little Halloween here for the 31st before I really dived into um, these types of stickers here. These are all from Planner Chick Designs. All of the stickers, the, the um, countdown stickers from, uh, these are from Mandy Lynn Plans. It's, yeah, this, so this a lot of the kits I have been able to use over and over and over again with um, Mandy Lynn Plans. Like the monthly kits that she's, monthly subscription box that she has, it's great. And there's so much you can get out of it. Again, these are from Brie, um, Plan and Chick Designs. And these are planner chick designs. Do you think I might like that? Nah, I think these are Mandy Lynn plans. These are planner envy. This is vellum that I have in my shop. These are all, I, yeah, these are Mandy Lynn plans. Mandy Lynn, no. Planner and no, um, Planner Chick Designs. Ugh. And these countdowns here are from Planner Chick Designs too. And so I, you know, everybody, we all leave our planners out and our kids get a hold of them. So I love that. Planner Chick Designs. I really like the, oh, and this is also in pla from Planner Envy. Got some washi from her. A lot of washi. Uh, so here I tried to use some, I don't, um, these types of stickers. I know they're decorative, but I also feel like, I don't know. But I've, try, uh, I've gotten kind of away from them a little bit. Old washi that I got from Amazon, and these are from Planner Chick Designs. I'm not sure where I got all these from. I forgot. Vellum that I have in my shop. So this is, no, we're not. This is the last week here. Right here. As you can see, I haven't done anything. Today is Tuesday. Um, we don't really have anything going on. It's, everybody's on um, break, so. Yeah, I don't have too much scheduled. There's no doctor's appointment. There's nothing like that going on. We, I had a Costco order today. I ran 11 miles yesterday um, because I took a Sunday off. And so today I have off as well. So that is it. And then of course I have some extra pages here in the back, which I'm going to leave. But it got a little fluffy. And yes, I still have that washi bulge. And like I said, it doesn't bother me too bad. And I think maybe because the rest of the planner also gets kind of chunky. So that is my Stology. 
This is an Erin Condren Focus Planner. I used this for my work stuff. I'm not gonna show too much of it. Um, there really isn't much to show. I just used, I kinda, I used it and then I would, I pretty much used it the whole time, but then as the month, as you know, we kinda got into the end, uh, I stopped using it as much in, let's see, I think it was um, in November, like I barely used it. And I w what I was trying to do here in the beginning of the months was like keep track of like a little, something like I would put together, uh, kind of like a summary of the bundles that I was putting together for the month. So like this was October, this was, this is in the wrong space. So this was September, um, July, June, May, um, but I stopped doing that, I think, obviously in December uh, and October. So I did in October, but I totally missed it in November, which was fine because I also tried to like pre-plan here a little bit and put like these cute little stickers that I had gotten down in an Erin Condren something and I ended up they're, they're on each one of these pages here, but they're all covered up. Like you could kind of see it here at the bottom. Like it's just covered up. So that was a bummer. But I think that's it for my planners. This was a very thick year, <laughs> as you can see. Almost can't get it all the way in. There we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. And if you'd like to continue watching videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, this is from Bassy, Bassy & Co. Uh, they hold both of the planners. It is big enough to hold both of the planners. You get a pen loop, which I don't use and then like card slots here on the back. I mean on the front, which I don't use because they're kind of like a different, I don't know, they're just different. So, but it holds both uh, notebook and planner in one chunky beast. So, like I said, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you on the next one. As always, stay healthy and stay safe. Bye you guys.